Hello, everyone. So the thing about being loving poet, poetry, and uh, I'm a poet, uh, is that when you see a microphone, you just need to, to catch it and talk into it. <laughs> Not like Roxana. She's a doer. I'm unfortunately is a poet. <laughs> We're very, very excited to have you all here because the whole point of poetry is to be shared and to help each other, all of us to connect. And we really don't believe, we, British Bangladeshi Poetry Collective, we don't believe that, you know, it's a, it's a thing that poets do. I think we are all, we all have access to it and we should all enjoy it. And that's what this evening is about, as well as celebrating Bangladesh becoming 50. So, you know, a large number of you here are Bangladeshis or born or second generation or fourth generation. And we're sitting amongst friends who has Bangladeshi friends, British Bangladeshi friends. And uh, this is a very important year for us because 50 years ago, uh, Bangladesh uh, got its freedom and became Bangladesh. So that's what we are here to celebrate. So the loosely, the theme of this whole uh, evening is around freedom, about Bangladesh, and also what means to us, British Bangladeshi, as a British uh, person as well. What does it mean? How does it relate to our identity? So this is what you're going to experience today. And we'll enjoy it, we know that for sure. And I hope you guys enjoy it with us. And with that, the first half an hour, we have 12 British Bangladeshi poets performing for you, some poems, mostly in English, some in Bengali. And after that, we go and we start playing with you guys and share poetry, and you'll see, no, too much talk isn't needed. So, further ado, I'm going to ask the first poet, who is also our trustee, Mike Reggett, to come on stage. We're so lucky. I don't know how many groups can say this, but he's the most hands-on trustee who's also like our cheerleader. Mike, please come up with the stage. Thank you, Rashida. Um, uh, she means that I interfere a lot. <laughs> Um, I was very fortunate in 2009, I was asked by the uh, BBC World Service, Media Action it's now called, uh, to go to Bangladesh and help put together some proposals for a series of uh, television programmes for people aged between 18 and 25 principally, but to help them learn English as a foreign language because uh, uh, the government had realised that by indulging their long held off ability to speak their own language, people didn't really want to learn English and they were missing out on a lot of international opportunities for uh, computer technology outsourcing and, and so forth. So they asked us to make some programs and it was there that I had the huge pleasure of meeting Shabim and the Sheikh Tazad and uh, they'd never let me go. Um, so what I've written is a poem called A Bangladeshi Welcome and it's about the first day that I arrived in Bangladesh, in Dhaka, in uh, 2009. A Bangladeshi welcome. On my first day in Dhaka, I went for a walk. My flight had arrived on time, and I was met by a car. But I delayed it for some hours, because I found that my luggage was still in Dubai, and would only reach Dhaka next day. With meetings to attend, I had to go and buy a shirt. And nearest to me was the Banani Kacha Bidar. As a lone white man venturing into the unknown streets from the calm of the Hotel Serena, I was keen to see how I fared. The heat and crowds unexpected, but it was all so much more intense. The noise and the dust too were surprising. Colours and food odours astounding as I threaded my way through the dense morning throng. It took a while to find a store which had shirts to match my size. You see, I'm a bit taller than the average duck of Bengali. But we finally haggled for two that would see me through, and parted with duck and handshakes and smiles. 
Throughout my stay to my colleagues at work, I was that strange and curious guy, the one who broke all the rules. I walked around and took CNGs rather than use the pool driver I should have called. I even bought a rickshaw to help out a newfound friend. I liked the freedom of the streets and thrived on the atmosphere that I'd have missed sealed up in an aircon car. I even I also wanted to be free to visit the countryside because I felt Bangladesh is not all about Dhaka. I made it to Rampal and Bagahat, Kulna, Chesor and Dalatpur, to Ashulia, Sinet and Kamila, but sadly never to Cox's Bazaar. <laughs> I was targeted by beggars but felt that that was fair. They must have wondered why on earth this man was there. I was made truly welcome in cafes, schools and homes and made friends at the time who are still my friends today. Since then, I try to spread awareness among my British friends of what a fine country the Bangladesh is and how the lengthy hurt takes time to mend. So celebrate independence, rejoice at turning 50, embrace the freedom to use Bangla and English to make poems that tell the tales of the suffering and resilience that made the people proud. understand this whole event is being celebrated to celebrate the 50 years of independence of Bangladesh but for me freedom the idea of freedom that should happen on an individual level it should be coming from within freedom rather than freedom to do something freedom from the want which makes us always trying to I want the freedom to be that I want the freedom to do that and I want to have the freedom to show myself that this is me, me, me all the time. So from that viewpoint, I've written this. Choose your fears wisely. That's what it's called. You're afraid of the pariah in me. You probably hate me as a sinner. As you found sin in my freedom. The freedom of choice is a life of failure. It makes you secretly smile while you gloat feeling safe. How safe are you? Playing it safe would never actually make you safe. I keep burning my hands over and over playing with fire. Now that flame rests peacefully on the palm of my hands. We stare at each other, and it smiles back. I look at its beauty, its color, its rage, and the serenity in silence with bated breath. Everyone else laments my insanity. What is it doing? Laughs at me, gives a wide berth to me. But I have freed myself of those sneers now the stairs, and the well-meaning tears of pity. I'm just being me, all masks off. I'm just being myself. Now, you can thank me for letting you feel free to be you as I set myself free. The treacherous hydra that freedom can be, choose your fears wisely. towards a loved one. 
But here in the UK, I have spent most of my adult life, experienced some great moments, made some great friends. So when I'm in Bangladesh, I feel a similar pull towards this country. What I'm trying to say is that I have this conflicting currents uh, within myself of which I'm never free and I don't think I ever will be. So this is a poem dedicated to the struggle within myself. And I apologize beforehand because my poem is in Bangla. If you don't understand, I apologize for it. No need to apologize. Go ahead, sure. Ke kotha bole? Nona pani ilish mat. Proti borshay nodi jatra kore. Mitha pani moromiya git guchino der dak pathai fee bachu. Acha. ওদের কি মন কেমন করে কখনো ফেলে আসা সাগর শালার জন্য ভাঙা প্রবালে গড়া মৃত সমুদ্র নগরীর জন্য আমি মাছ না আমি মানুষ সালাদ ও সিরিয়ালে বহু পরিতৃপ্ত ঘুমন্ত সাতযন্ত্রের ঠিক নিচে দপদপ করে একটি ব্যথা প্রদীপ নিভে নিভেও জ্বলে উঠে অন্তস্থলে যেতে হবে আমাকে যেতে হবে সেই নদী মাত্রী অসীম পারাবারে পদতল রাখি যার স্বয়ান তার নিবিড় শ্যামল ছায়ে থাকুক বাক্স কাটরা থাকুক সংসার যাই চলে যাই এইবার টিকেট দেখে মনটা সামান্য দমে বিমানে বসে আরও একটু দমে আর ঢাকা বিমানবন্দরে দাঁড়িয়ে একদম মরে যাই বাসের বিবিধ বিড়ম্বনায় দেহ ও মনের খাঁচা গুঁড়ো গুঁড়ো করে অবশেষে যাত্রার শেষ রুদ্রবক্ষ সে বরেন্দ্রভূমির স্পর্শে অন্তরতম অগ্নিশিখামল সহস্র স্কুলিংকে বিস্ফোরিত দুটো দিন ঘুমের পর ছাদে বসে আম গাছের মাথা দোলানো দেখি উড়ে যাওয়া মেঘের বুকে কাক বক দেখি শুকাতে দেওয়া শাড়ি আঁচল জুড়ে কলকা দেখি রান্নাঘরের মেঝেতে পিড়ি পেতে দুধ খুশি খাই সর্ষে পাতুরি ও মুড়ি ঘন্টের অমৃত ভোজন করি কারো স্পর্শ নিয়ে কারো কবরের পাশে দাঁড়িয়ে চেতনার ফুলঙ্গিতে উড়ন্ত আগুন স্থির হয় একটি বিন্দুতে ইতোমধ্যে কিছু ছোটখাটো ব্যায়াম ঠেকিয়ে ফিরতি যাত্রার প্রস্তুতি টিকেট দেখে মনটা সামান্য দমে বাসে বসে আরও একটু দমে আর ঢাকা বিমানবন্দরে দাঁড়িয়ে একদম মরে যায় মনে মনে পরের বছর তাই তার পরের বছর তাই এবং তার পরও তাই নিয়তি মাধ্যাকর্ষণে পূর্ব পশ্চিম জুড়ে দুলে চলেছি বছরের পর বছর বারো বছরে বারোটি অসাধ্য সাধনের পর হারকিউলিসের মুক্তি মিলেছিল আমার কি মুক্তি নেই আমার কণ্ঠে আমার মননে আমার প্রতি রক্ত পরিকার অজর অশরীরি হাহাকার কেও ও কে কেও কথা বলে without sex education. Bangla is greens and reds, Bombay mix infused in limes and chili flakes. Brothers tie the flag around their heads, sisters twirl into their saris. We flaunt into our bricklane nether, 
with community pride. Bangla is burgundy, beetle nuts churning between his blemished red lips. Man shuffles out tarkas for my crisp 50 pound notes. Woman taps on my side of the rickshaw, eating out of her empty palm, without an eye or an elbow. Bangla is yellow, potato chips in the hands of hopeful children. Boys recite poetry. Girls dream of marrying well. We dock our boat onto the country. The stars gleam on God's bountiful land. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, everybody knows we are celebrating uh, 50 years of uh, Bangladesh independence. So, obviously, my poems about Bangladesh. The title is Dake Tibro Pakhi. Amra Ekhono Shoklo Dekhi. Ekhono Shoklo Kori. Shukar Shujor Ha Bilabe Amadir Prante. Ono Ekti In Shi Pakhi Aba Deke Kobe. Shoto Shongram Sheshe Timir Binashi Aloeshe. আমাদের দিয়ে যাবে বহু কাঙ্ক্ষিত সুবর্ণতা আমরা আশাহীন ভাষাকে থাকেনি কম বলেনি কোনদিন অসম্পূর্ণ দিকটির কঠিন গল্প সেই পথে বারবার থেমেছি কোয়াবি দৃষ্টি যেখানে আমাদের রোয়াবি গাথা বেঁধেছে মহিমায় কবে তবে শেষ হবে বন্ধু জামিনির শেষ কবে তবে স্নিগ্ধ ঘরে আমি দেখব তারে যার চোয়ালে আমার জমা রাখা সহস্ত্র চুম্বন এখনো সমহিমায় ফুটে আছে তীব্র গোড়া তাকে ছুঁতে আর কতদিন গোড়াতে হবে মাটি বারুদের সাথে মিশে যাবে কত রোবালের ঘা তার উষ্ণ বুকে ধুয়ে এসেছি আমার যে হাত তার সন্ধান কবে হবে আর এমন বিরান ছেড়ে এত শীতল এত অপৌরুষ আর চাই না একবার তাকে উত্তাপ দেব জন্মের মহিমা একবার তাকে বুঝাব সাথীর ঘুমের যোচনা সেই ক্ষণের অপেক্ষায় বসে আছি সেই কবে থেকে এবার দরজা খোল মেলে দাও সাথীর জমি বিজয়ের ক্ষণ বিলম্বিত লয়ে আরো তীব্র হয় কি মতে It's just that life's journey of trying to find some inner peace, freedom, and um, what life's all about, I guess, for you. Yeah? Freedom, freedom is what you seek, but you're hiding behind the curtain from which you peek. You're already free, my dear. There's actually nothing to fear. The boundaries are not actually there anymore, yet you hold on to them so tight, your hands have gone soft. Freedom is already around you. If you don't feel it, what are you to do? Take a deep breath and look down deep. The path to your dreams isn't so steep. Just clear your mind and when it's right, take a step in the right direction where the future is bright. It isn't easy to change old habits we've formed along the way. It doesn't mean they are forever here to stay. An important step is to change the way you think before you get to the edge or even to the brink. Start to change your outlook and have a dream. It doesn't matter what you think possible or what you 
may see. Just allow your mind to run free. Go visit all the possibilities of what you'd love your world to be. Just open your eyes wide to see for it to be possible for you, a future for you. A step is to start believing it to be true for you too. Discard the voice in your head that is a voice of doom. Move it aside to make more room for the creative spirit of your mind to ignite. There really is no need to fight. It is the way it's meant to be, expressing yourself through your creativity, connecting by the creation upon creation from deep within your soul. One creation sparks another until you're on a roll. Let it express what it wants without restrictions and the opportunities will turn up, sparking up new connections. As people will connect with your goal as it stems from within your soul. Their soul will recognize the inner desire burning within you like a glowing fire. They will be drawn to your aid along the way. Your job is to accept and say, okay. You will be swept up by the positivity once you tread the path of infinity, connecting through your souls and asking from the heart, not concentrating on the belief that we are different or apart. We are all innocent spirits with one life purpose, to bring peace to each other and every one of us. We do it in many ways, as our gifts are varied and vast. So let your heart sing and don't look to the past. The past has no answers for the questions you ask. Look within yourself for a reply in your next task. The answers are there for the questions you pose. The answers are definitive, not might, maybe, or suppose. The freedom you seek starts from deep within your mind. Only when this is achieved, Freedom you will find. Thank you. Next up is uh, Selena. Can everyone hear me? So I wrote this following my second time visiting Bangladesh after nearly 30 years. Um, it was a truly memorable experience and made me connect deeply with my roots. Upon my return, the yearning was almost palpable, and I fell in love with not only the language, but the music, films, books, and anything I could get my hands on. If you look closely, my t-shirt is a map of Bangladesh, so you can Ooh. see where you're from. <laughs> I hope my feelings and emotions are reflected in this piece titled Roots and All, and some of you may be able to relate. Settled within a nook in my room, leaning against treasured collections of towering books, I find myself immersed in Jumpa Lahiri's The Interpreter of Malady. Sparsely written, yet cosy and warm, the words invite me to dream of my future borrow. Stirring some Bengali dishes on the stove, taking a wooden spoon, feeding him a little of what I've made. Hand cupped carefully under, ready for anything that falls. A cuisine of love. We sit to eat amidst golden candlelight, while gentle aromas fill the air, taking us back. Back to a time of the rooster's call and approaching heat. Toasted biscuits, warm chai, fragrant cinnamon, and a mustard yolk of freshly laid eggs. Endless verdant greenery and crystalline waters. Small yet spacious boats, intimately designed rickshaws. Long badminton and cricket by flashlight. Spools of laughter unraveling, echoing in the insect-filled night. While the day permeates every inch with beaks and horns, exclamations of all kinds. You return from your travels, exhausted beyond belief, playing the day's memories on a projector reel of your mind. Dust settles, the mushroom is tied, coal lit, all is calm. The moon casts none of its mystical glow tonight. I miss the distant lunar power of that incandescent orb, sensual and strong, upended in the inky black sky. Surrounded by endless starry points, infinity, a full stop in pitch dark tranquility. Though my milky white namesake has still long to find, huge in that other land I was sorry to leave behind.
शुभ सन्दा हमार कवित शुरोन तुम्हार जन अपेक्षा आ कृषक घमे जरा मेटो पथ पा धान खे मटर सोदा गंध दूर बदल मैदान शिशु पार्क धानमंडी लेके जलधारा बत्रिश्ट अपल कपल दृष्टि संसद भवन खोला प्रान सबुज समाहार सुपारी वृक्ष मधुपुर बन सूर्य स्नान सर नारी पुजो फूल हाथे तुम जन अपेक्षा चौदह कोटी प्रदीप छय छोर बेतार केंद्र रौद्रमय कथार कपन जनसमुद्र उन्मुक्त मंच कलरेडी मायर गीट बाधा शाड़ी आचल गलाय तबीज दरगाह मानव मुक्त दिगंत विशुद्ध सरोवर रण तरी कूचकावा साल सम्भाषण तुम्हार जन अपेक्षा कर तुम्हारे अपेक्षा कर विजय माला सर्वकाल श्रेष्ठ सम्मान धन्यवाद
turn the very same chain into wings, turn the weights into springs that will bounce you into planes where angels sing. Just step backwards inside yourself and see the light that is there in everything you do, the way you sit the room, the words you say and write. For you were given eyes and lips and a million fizzing brain cells and kept safe over time when sun shone, when rain fell and have the capacity to be a lifeline to bodies broken and bleeding. Freedom is a library of other people's love. It is found here and now, not anywhere above. And it begins the moment that you choose to start reading. sunshine of tomorrow. Lift up your heart, dear countrymen. Don't shed tears for me, nor write to me, dear ones. 
the letters tear my soul. Don't ask when I will return. I know whom is barren without me, but I'm here to serve the land that bore me. Once my mother wrote to me a letter that brought hello all the memories of childhood, games I played with my friends, mom's sari waving on my face, the coho she put under my ear to save me from the evil eye, the lullaby that she sang for me in the nights, that soft and warm touch of a magic hand, all rushed like a river of love, all rushed like a river of love. I made those intangible bonds my strength to free this land. That letter tear my soul, yet I long for it to love. Read. The neighborhood where I lived, the village where I belonged to, the shade under the mango trees, the slender coconut trees, the moonstone cloud over my orchard, the farms where I grew up, the lush green meadows, those branches of trees wavering in the breeze, the swing on the berry tree, the wild flowers of my village, the smiling flower buds, the trails and the paths, all ask me one question when I will be free. I see a dove flying by, happy and free-spirited. I whisper to the floating clouds to tell them to drift to the place where my people nestle, my mother and my beloved, family and friends. I have words for you all. I will return once I make my land free. I long to return to my nestle under the shade of mango trees, holding a red and green flag close to my bosom. That promise I have made to my mother, to the Seren River, to the lush green land, to the couple of my lover, to my unborn child. I will be back one fine day by your side, like a free dog that I saw once. I will keep that promise of mine. To my countrymen, many years later, you may forget my name. But remember, I stood for this land. You call it a home. I'm a freedom fighter, a son and a father, a comrade and a brother, a man and a friend. But I'm a freedom fighter. I'm a warrior to the end. And for me, you have a land. You have a land you call a home. I'm a freedom fighter. I'm a freedom fighter. I'm and I'm a, a warrior to the I'm end. Thank you. Fighter. I'm a freedom fighter. So now I'd like to call the last but not the least poet. At least one, Ishita Aza, our executive director and also the artistic director. So here comes the Ishita Aza as a poet. Thank you. Hi, that was wonderful. She's my co director, so you know, <laughs> everything to me is everything to her. Um, the last bit I shouted, you guys, you heard me saying, I'm a freedom fighter, because I think we are, we are all, you know, at, we didn't stop the fight for freedom, so we are all freedom fighters. My poem. My poem is called The Genesis. Like all creations in the beginning, there was a woman, a mother. Children brought to a strange land seemed lost. They were brought here by boats, boats built by the flesh and bones of their father, now seemed lost even to each other. Her stories that kept them tied together was coming undone, that kept them anchored, the stories that kept them anchored, tied to the shores of old, against the tide of the new, could no longer hold them together. Stretched and torn and weak in places, when they forgot old words or well-known phrases, it was coming undone in places. So she had to create a new language, mixing the old with the new, a lilting new song that flowed like melted gold, like the riverland they came from. 
but also sounded clear and strong like the brass bells of churches of the new land. Now they belong. Sailors who sang of old colonies, beware, brown poetry is born. Her daughters vowed to safeguard the words, birthing, adopting, surrogating new words. They kept on building on what their mother forged. One was called mind, the other one was called soul. The youngest was the body. She kept growing and learning, making them all into a beautiful whole. Thank you. And what we were to do, so we did exactly what we did. So one and two, everything is twice. So first we all say, Shabhinata, Shabhinata then only the men, then only the women, twice, twice. And then we do the fast version of Shabhinata, twice. And then we do the first two lines again, twice. So all together, eight times, yeah? Shall we try? Okay, let's try. One, two, three, four. Shabhinata, Shabhinata. Thank you. 